Okay, today I'm out here. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing and a demonstration video on the Think Tool Pro. I'm out here. This is my 2001 uh, Pontiac Bonneville. Um, this car is in mint condition. Um, I've got the uh, the Think Tool that I ordered from uh, Amazon. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of unboxing here. Uh, sorry if the camera works a little bit rough. I'm doing this on my own. I'm definitely no professional as far as camera work. So we'll take the tool out. And uh, it comes in a nice, uh, a nice case. The case itself is uh, very sturdy. Now I did... Uh, Register this tool. Uh, it comes with a uh, two-year free update, which is really nice. Um, well worth having. Um, this this tool will do cars all the way up to, uh, I believe, 2020 uh, or 21. So definitely would work uh, with any... With, with any of the newer cars, uh, older cars. Um, I actually had a problem with this Bonneville. Uh, so I'm going to describe that and tell you about it. It comes with a charger and uh, connectors. This is your, your, your Bluetooth dongle. The tool itself. Uh, very nice high definition screen on that tool. These are latches. So it, it latches all of your stuff in here. Nicely, so you don't have to worry about it falling out, uh, which is really nice. Uh, everything comes uh, very, everything comes packaged very nicely. Um, it also has the ability. This thing has a huge battery, but it has the ability. If you want to, you can connect it right to the battery on your car, or plug it into the cigarette lighter if your battery is low. So, I mean, uh, you certainly could use this all day in the shop. I know I have, and I never had to plug it in at all. It has a very strong battery. So, we'll close this up and show you the other side here. Uh, it comes with the instructions. I did just purchase this tool. I wrote on the manual 22721 was the date that I purchased it, and I updated it. Uh, it comes with uh, different plug-ins. For different countries so you don't have to worry about that and it comes with adapters uh, so that you can plug into your um, your 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 autom your automotive application and there are other options that you can easily add to the tool which is really a nice touch there's a scanner or a uh, scope available for this tool and uh, a printer and a uh, Let's see what else. There's also a camera that you, a high definition camera that you can get to use on the tool. It is a tablet. Let me get this thing boxed back up here. Uh, I'll have to. Hard to do this one handed. I'm really sorry about the camera work. Let's go ahead and I'm going to take this tool out and we'll get in the car and do the, uh, the video. And I'm going to, uh, hold on, uh, just one second here. I got that tool out. Um, like I said, bear with me. I'm no professional at making videos, that's for sure. Uh, so we're going to take the tool in here and hook it up to the car. And I'll show you. I'll leave the case out here. Just one second. I'm probably going to start the car, so I should take the box off the engine, huh? All right. There we go. All right. I'll go in the car here. And here we are. Um, all you need to do is find your connector. This is the Bluetooth dongle right here. It's very small. 
What I like about this is that when you do plug it into the car, this area here lights up. And so it confirms that you have it plugged in um, and that it is plugged in properly. Because, you know, if you get in a hurry, like I know none of us do, right? We're never in a hurry. Um, what happens is, is that people plug these in and they don't realize that they don't have it all the way in. And, uh, and then what happens is, is they don't get a reading on the tool and they think something's wrong with their car. So you just find your OBD uh, connector and plug it in. And let me get that plugged in. Give me one second. And so... And turn the the key on here. So we, when you plug it in, you want to turn your key on, and then we'll get the tool powered up here. It's got a really nice screen. I mean, it's very clear. Um, you can adjust the brightness to your own liking. I mean, it operates like a tablet. Most of us know what tablets are. Um, it doesn't take it very long to power up we'll have to give it a second here and once this tool is running uh, once it's powered up and you can either punch in it punch in the car manually or it has auto id which is very nice it also has you know okay so just like uh any other tablet it has a pull down menu um, Bluetooth, uh, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, um, it has a camera, you know, you can take pictures with this tool, which is very nice, because if you're working on something, and let's say you're DIY, or you've only fixed this, you, you're taking something apart, and you've only done it once, then you can take pictures of what you're doing, so that when you put it back together, you have the order in which you know on how to put it back together the screen icons are laid out very nice on this tool um, you have a quick printing option you have your auto search option here which will identify your VIN and you have uh, your diagnosis button these are all of your maintenance functions you have the, T the TMPS uh, option here which they have a TMPS uh, tool, and uh, you can do that with this. This will tell you your vehicle coverage list, um, uh, my, your team viewer, so that if you email the company and you need support, they can look at this tool from their position, and then they can see what you're seeing. So you're not trying to explain every little thing. That way they can give you the proper support. And I'll tell you, it's nice to have somebody to support you, especially if you're DIY or even if you're a professional. Sometimes they can think of things that, you know, you might not think of. Um, these are your module options. Um, you have your update button. And since I've had the tool, they have kept up with these updates. I have literally been able to update this tool three times in a week, and they've added updates to this tool. So this company is very serious about their updates, and I think, you know, you really get more than your money's worth. Um, uh, they have feedback here, uh, repair info, which is nice. There are some, especially for GM, Ford, and Chrysler, and and a lot of the, like, uh, Honda, Toyota, there's some repair info built into the tool that you can use to help you repair your car. And some of this information is very, very valuable. Oh, Pasca, sorry about that. Like I told you, I'm no professional. Uh, and then think file, which would be your videos. You can video with this tool. You can take pictures with this tool. Like I said, one of the biggest things you can use this for is to track how you're taking things apart and putting them back together. It's, it's really awesome. 
uh, to have that ability. And then they have the Think Store, which, uh, you know, that's just something that you look through. And they have other things available for this tool and other uh in, in the future, I'm sure they will have other things. First, uh, I'm just going to show you the relevant uh, parts of the tool. Um, first, we'll look at the, let's do the auto search. And we'll pull up the VIN number on this car. And uh, it takes a couple of minutes. It's really very fast compared to some of the tools. I know uh, I have a more... I have a really high-end tool that cost uh, $10,000, and that thing is really slow compared to this. The technology is is really good with this. So you see it pulled up. It's a 2001 Pontiac Bonneville. You can hit quick access, or you can hit diagnosis. We're going to hit diagnosis, and then it will, it will tell you to hold on. It's loading. It takes a few minutes here. Um, that's pretty quick. So you have a health report, a system, a system selection, a system scan and common functions. So let's look at common functions first. It'll ask you without air pump or with air pump. The way you'll know if your car has an air pump, there'll be a belt connected to that air pump and it won't be identifiable. I mean, it's, it's definitely not a power steering pump. And you can find that service information out easily on the Internet and how to check for that. My car does not have the air pump. And my Bonneville is the SE model. See, it's moving through the menus really fairly quickly. So then um, just give it a couple minutes here. And um, there we go. So these are the, whoops, it's very responsive. So uh, here it says uh, ABS bleeding, injector coating. So let's say you had an injector that you were going to replace in your car. Um, a lot of times you'll need to use injector coating to, to tell the computer that you've installed a new injector. Uh, it has the ABS bleeding, which if you're changing brake pads on your car, you'll definitely need that. And then it has an oil service light reset. So you can do that on your own uh, and reset. Once you change your oil, you'll need to reset that light. And this tool will do that for you. Um, let's back out of here. Uh, I'm, the health report, it goes through every module in or every computer. Module and computer are the same every computer in the system and it will tell you what the health of each one is and then you can enter that. I'm going to go to system selection. Here all this we have power terrain. Uh, it, it has the abbreviations but it also spells it out which is nice for the DIY and hey sometimes even for me I mean just because I'm a professional mechanic if I haven't looked at if I haven't looked at something in a while, I may not remember the abbreviation because all the cars will have different modules and different abbreviations brand to brand. So what's really nice about this tool is it lays out exactly what it is. You have the power terrain system, the dash integration module, heads up display that displays the uh, speed and other things on your windshield in some cars instrument panel, personalization, and goes on and on and on. Uh, there's driver's door module. Let's scroll up here. And uh, your theft module. So if you have a fault in any of these modules, I'll give you for instance, you can go into this module. Let's go into power terrain. I'm not, I'm not going to go into all of it just to keep it. But let's say uh, if you wanted to read a fault code, you can. It This will tell you the VIN number of the module and this will this will uh, read and clear fault codes. It's got actuation test, and and I know a lot of you are interested in actuation test. Look at all these outputs: engine outputs, fuel system. You can crank. You know, if you replace a crankshaft sensor, you may want to do a, a learn or relearn on that crankshaft, and just all kinds of stuff. Let's back out of here, and then it also goes into. 
let's see here. We think we were just in here. My bad. And then uh, read data stream. Okay. And then we're going to go into engine. And, and here it has engine one and two data, which is just a ton of parameters as far as your engine goes. And fuel trim and, and misfire data. I know a lot of you deal with misfires. And this was one of the things that impressed me about the tool. This Bonneville did not have a check engine light, but I knew it had a misfire. And those can be really hard to find. I use this tool on this Bonneville and by hitting misfire, I was able to go down here. See, you got current misfire in each cylinder, all the cylinders, six cylinders are laid out and you have history misfire see history is what happened in the past your computer knows this tool can pull that up and this is a powerful function because i didn't have a check engine light to tell me which cylinder was missing and it was very hard to figure out which one was missing this tool is faster than any of the tools that i own and it found the misfire and I did it all from the driver's seat of the car. I went out after I found that. I'm going to show you real quick here. Pull up current misfires. One, three, five. Um, current uh, six, four, and two. And then just hit OK. Wait for it to load. And then... You would start the car once it loads, and it would tell you, here it gives you the option, you can graph any of these, or you can graph all six of them. This machine will graph up to 12, um, up to 12 graphs at one time on the screen. So here, you would look, and it shows you all your misfires. This machine was fast enough to pick up which cylinder was misfiring and it was accurate. So I was able to fix it and, and it literally took me minutes. Something that people struggle with all the time. If just for that, it's worth owning. And then if you want to graph, you can hit graph button right here and see it graphs all the cylinders for you. Let me show you here, I'll fire this up. And it graphs all, all six. Or you can graph one. See, and right there. Now that's different than the one I fixed. It showed a cylinder three misfire. Now that one there I need to address because cylinder five was the misfire I fixed. And look how fast that tool did that. I can't, I can't give it enough praise. I'm so glad that I purchased it. And I hope that you too will enjoy this tool. It does so much more. I've made this a long video. Um, I definitely would purchase this again and look forward to doing business with this company again. They were very responsive when I had questions. I would definitely buy from this company again. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.